What's up guys, Rudy here and welcome back to your channel, back again with another video. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a lookbook slash outfits kind of video. Therefore, for today's video, I thought that I'd try to style probably one of the most difficult pieces in my wardrobe, which is this. The Nike SF Air Force One High. I picked this pair up a while back and to be honest, I really haven't been wearing this much and it's just been sitting in my wardrobe for the longest of time. I only picked this up because uh, I saw Han from Stray Kids I actually wore the same pair during the live performance of Hello Vader and I just thought that it looked really cool. Therefore, I decided to, you know, pick this pair up and try to kind of copy or mimic the same look, which I kind of did. But besides that outfit, I really couldn't, you know, think of any more other outfits that goes well with this boots. Recently, I got to know and follow an Instagrammer by the name of Ishiki Tsuragi and he incorporated the Nike SF Air Force One into quite a number of his fits and I thought he really nailed the overall look. Hence, I decided to take it upon myself to create five different outfits using this pair. Firstly, let's take a look at the silhouette and design of it. If you are into functional wear or tech wear, you probably will be pretty familiar with the SF line. It's basically Air Force One that is given an overall utilitarian look towards it. Unlike the previous version, which uses a kind of buckle fastening system, this pair went for a much more aggressive look with these thick rope laces wrapped around the ankle area. I do think you know it would look much sleeker and much more wearable if the rope laces were to be replaced with some thinner ones. There really isn't any functional purpose towards the rope laces besides making the overall silhouette a little bit more urban utilitarian. In fact, I would argue that because of the rope laces, it does make you know putting the boots on a little bit more difficult because sometimes the zipper will get stuck onto the rope laces. There is an additional rope lace that is reflective, so if you want to switch things up, you could. The overall material of it is basically split into two main materials. The forefront and overlays of the boots is made from leather, while the rest of it is made from a pretty strong ballistic nylon, which overall gives the entire boot to feel really rugged. In terms of sizing wise, I am a US size 10, However, at the time when I picked them up over on StockX, the 9.5 were going for a much cheaper price and I decided to opt for that. However, although I kind of went down half a size, it does still fit me pretty well, but I could definitely feel that it's pretty tight over on the side area. Therefore, if you guys are planning to pick them up, I would say go through the size and you'll be just fine. Although it looks like a pair of boots that will be great for the winter time, Due to the very high cut silhouette that does a pretty good job in protecting our feet from snow, the sole is pretty much the exact same as a regular pair of Air Force One, which can get pretty slippery if you are walking during snowy conditions. Hence, I would say that it's alright for urban city commutes, but not really suitable for taking out for hikes and other outdoor activities. For the first outfit, I thought I would recreate the outfit that made me got this pair of boots in the first place. It is heavily inspired by Stray Kids Hunt's outfit during their live performance of Hello Vader. Starting from the top, I have probably my most favorite piece in my wardrobe which is this thick flannel jacket. Underneath it, I have the Fear of God 5th Collection Mesh Bathing Jersey to mimic the Fear of God piece that he is wearing. As for the bottoms, I used to have a pair of skinny jeans that had a knee blow out, but I got rid of it because the fabric started warping and to be honest, I rarely wear jeans anymore. Therefore, I just had the only black skinny jeans left that I kept, which I got from ASOS a while back. The second outfit is more along the lines of streetwear as well. I wanted to keep the overall outfit pretty simple while going for that more baggy silhouette, which I think looks pretty cool with these boots. I just went for my trusty oversized champion sweater, paired up with the Idol Edo Capacity Crop Pants. Because of how tall the boots are, the pants don't appear to look crop at all. Lastly, I wanted to add just a little bit of accessory as I think this is a rather plain outfit. I had on the Drip SVR KTS01 side back and I think this pulls the whole outfit together nicely. The next outfit is probably my favorite outfit among all the others. This is more of the futuristic tech wear aesthetic that I'm a huge fan of. And I think the boots managed to elevate the futuristic feel of the outfit even more. Looking at the top, I have on my Uniqlo Block Tech Parka layered underneath a black bomber jacket that I got a while back in Korea. As for the bottoms, it is the Idol Edo Plain Cargo Pants, and to give the overall outfit more detail and storage capacity, I paired it up again with the Drip SVR KTS01 side bag. 
Overall, this gives me major Blade Runner vibes and I'm super digging this outfit. Moving towards the 4th and 5th outfit, these are very experimental fits. For this outfit, I was trying to reimagine a dystopic mechanics outfit, and this is what I came up with. I have on a Uniqlo Alexander Wang collaboration Arizum T tucked into the Idol Edo Plier Cargo pants. I think the bacon collar of the t-shirt, although it is very unflattering, it makes the outfit look more grungy and worn out, which is perfect for the look that I'm going for. Something different that I did for this outfit is I transformed the SVR KT S01 into a belt accessory. It looks like a utility belt that most mechanics might be wearing to store their tools. Finally, for the last outfit, I definitely went out of my comfort zone on this one. Unlike all the previous outfits where I paired the SF Air Force One high with long pants, I decided to try pairing it up with shorts and honestly, I think this kind of works. I went for a full Fear of God look here with both the top and bottoms that are from the Ford Collection Fear of God Essential line. It did take some convincing for me but I think because of the color tones, it actually doesn't look too shabby. It does have a very dystopic and sci-fi vibe especially with the pairing of the Arby Gear M100. What are your thoughts on this pair of boots? Do you like it or it's something that you would never wear? Do let your thoughts be known down in the comment section box below. As always, if you did enjoy watching today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel or just haven't been subscribed yet, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button because it really does help this channel out a long way. Don't forget that we'll be an Aubrey Gear mod giveaway once this channel hits 8,000 subscribers. Till then guys, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.